Welcome to Warblog. Today I'm going to look at the uh, Dolia Advance, which is just south of the Zium. Um, there's possibly a lot more like a ton, but um, uh, yes, we've got a lot of drones. And a lot of air defense shot down. Hmm. Take out that unit. So we got one. Yep. He looks a bit on his own. Let's go for him. Nine point seven. He's still there. See some aircraft routed him. I guess it's two air defense units. See about this one. Seven damage. Okay, and this one. Still alive. Two. This is on thirteen point five. Yeah, <laughs> thirteen point five. What else can we take out? Look at air defense units in there. Let's try one of these cruise missiles, not a lot. We've got some anti tank. And these are regulars on 6.5, sending some cruise missiles. He's on 6.8. Oh, we routed both of them. They're in a town as well. 
So that was probably one of the hardest stacks I could have possibly thought of taking. Um, let's see what we can get here. Two. Hmm. I'll leave them there. So that's that, really, for the Russian turn. Here's what the Ukrainians think of that. Well, they got a lot of drones. So let's try and take out some of the Russian. Oh, we should have thought of that, shouldn't we? So let's take out some Russian rockets. Shot down. Shot down. Shot down. Oops. Half strength, so we got five. So one of them got through and did some damage on the rockets. Quarter strength. So these rockets are smoking. 8.5, 2. Aborted. So we destroyed a rocket. This other guy on a 2. Hmm. Let's go for these ones. Mm. There's some reinforcements there. What can these anti tank units hit? Routed him. Zero damage, point four damage. Oops, one point eight damage. Okay.
Basically nothing. Okay, so it's now the Russian turn. I mean that's such a big step, isn't it? Anti tank artillery engineers. Yeah, let's go for this. Hmm. Why is his air defense units? I'm not really thinking properly at the moment, to be quite honest. I sort of want to go to sleep, but I thought I'd give it a whirl. So you could probably play this a little more effectively than I'm playing it. Shot down. I'll see how five point seven. <laughs> We've got some damage that time. The first aborted. Oh, this doesn't, doesn't seem to be doing very well. Perfect. It's only one artillery, it's only one anti -air aircraft unit. Oh, we got something on that. 13.25. Oh, we routed, <laughs> routed it at last. We've well, only got a few air, air, anti aircraft units left, so. Got one over here, but he's also got one in here, isn't he? So let's just go with the rockets on this. A cruise missile, I'll probably get nothing. They're not very effective for some reason. I suspect my maths is off. They've taken a lot of damage. Oh yeah, we've got something at last now. Dank unit. Cruise missiles. We routed something. Oh, it was the air defense, so that's all we need from that. So we've only got one cruise missile now, so why don't we use it on this? It'd be nice if they did do lots of damage, but they tend not to, so Right, so we'd wear over here, but we won't attack it because I'm going to direct fire the least on something else. <sighs> well, because uh, that's a town in there, I'm going to go here. And attack it. Oh, well, we've got some rockets. Let's use some rockets on that. There's a little bit of damage. What is that doing? Oh, I know why. Because they're routed and there's nothing in there. 
Okay, okay, okay. Oh, I know what's happened. I used the rockets first, they routed, and so I didn't actually use these, so that's what's confusing things. So I'm gonna have to attack this stack. Three to one in exchange, okay. So we should get at least a three to one again. Let's see if we can get in there. Uh, so that's that. So it's, it's not proving easy, but the Ukrainians are running out of drones. To take out, see what I'm not thinking at all because I just need to grow up by going to sleep, to be quite honest. But what I should have been thinking about there was um, was protecting the rockets, you know, protecting things by putting them with other units. It didn't do it for the Ukrainians, I mean, did it for Russians, so I'm really not doing very well on either side here. We take our air defense units though. I mean, it might actually prove to be more effective than we've been used for, really. That would be a good stack. A win win in that. Oh, that was a big one. Eight point seven, four point seven, zero. Got something. Got something else. So, got rid of the two marks, two of their rocket things. I'm definitely not thinking properly because there are units back here I could have moved by now. You know, I could have shuffled things along. Um, <laughs> uh, we got that anyway. I mean, look, we can almost advance with these guys. See, I'm not doing anything with the engineers and not 
not a big problem, but all we've got in there, we've got two rockets in there. It's an interesting situation because what they're doing is they're doing a lot of bombing and pre prepping the area. This is sort of what we're doing is we don't have a lot of units at the moment. But there's been high level casualties on both sides. So the Russians are slowly sort of bringing in their forces. Um, I don't think they have really much, but they've got air defense down here and they've got units coming on here now. I wonder if they were on last turn. They probably were. I just didn't spot them. I'd like to break through here. So I'm really going to have to just pound something. This might be an easy one. Let's just wipe this out. Lost the drone. It's an amazing considering it doesn't have any air defense. Right, so that routed. Still trying to get these. Oh, we got them. Which means we can move in like this. Hmm. Let's see what we can do here. See, one of the problems with the front line is that you've got to sort of defend the whole front line. The Ukrainians can't really afford to leave or oh, cut some more artillery there. Nice if we can get rid of. The irregulars, bombing units. Exchange. Another exchange. Ouch. I should have used these things. Okay, let's blow these up. If we can. Right, I don't want to waste a blessing this all on that, thank you. Right? Let's hit this unit here. So they're still struggling to just do some of the basic things. 
going to just break through. And then it's going to wipe out all of the air defense or all of the uh, generate fire. And they've broken through, they've got one of these hex lines here. That's probably why we failed there because they're in town. Okay, so the Ukrainians, then we've got some units on here. So, what can we do with them? Got 1.2 left. So we have to sell them this way, but we're not going to get them out of that entrenchment now. I'm going to leave it at that because I don't want to go any further. Um, if I mean, it's, I'm tired and I do want to sleep. I think it's interesting. I think the um, it's interesting that the, you know, how difficult it was to break through there, and you could sort of think, well, would they have any other defensive lines? I mean, it's always a bit odd having this sort of trench line, but I've seen some pictures of them. They do appear to have fairly extensive trench lines that just straight across the country. And so I think, well, they're not, is that it? I mean, surely you could just, you know, just ride straight through it. Um, it would seem that it would be so easy to take those trench lines over. But here we've had to break through and... Hmm. It's... It's not been without cost, and um, I think that there's the issue of all of these other units. You, you know, I mean, if I was thinking on four cylinders, I might have moved things along. That's why I'm stopping now because I think it needs, it's getting a bit fiddly and it needs some thinking. I well, should have been thinking earlier on anyway, but we've got all these units up here. And, Fair enough, I mean, we do need to protect the whole line, but we could have shuffled a lot along here because it looks as though the breakthrough is coming through here. Um, but also, what we could also have done is actually move forward and attack some of these units. You know, I haven't been thinking properly, and um, but I think it's an interesting scenario. It's taking shape, and I'm sort of thinking, mm -hmm. I just wish I had more time and I would do some of the other ones. Um, but anyway, um, I'll leave it at that and I'll speak to you later. Cheerio.